seen any quail yet, although that's what I'm here looking for. Um, I thought I heard a flock of chucker, which are an imported partridge, up in there just a few minutes ago. They say you hunt quail for fun, but you hunt chucker for revenge. And I don't particularly want to go up in there and that rough stuff after chucker and start a vendetta going. So I'm going to walk up this canyon a little further. You're at a handicapped hunting quail with no dog, but uh, if I can hear them and I can walk in on them, I should be able to knock a couple down off the cubby flush. So we'll see what kind of luck I have. day up in here. I'm up in uh, Potero Canyon. Potero Creek is just over here to my uh, to my right. This here is the uh, canyon I just walked up. About a few minutes ago I heard some quail in here on this flat. But I not able to flush anything yet. If there's any quail in here, they're running ahead of me. Uh, once again, this is a disadvantage of not having a dog, but Sure is a pretty day though. It's uh, worth walking up in here even if there aren't. I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying a day out in sunshine with a pretty new shotgun. Pretty day and a pretty place to walk. Okay, well, I understand I don't think a group of quail. Right up in here. Got two shots off as they flew. Missed both of them. These little mountain quail fly real fast, and they don't fly far. They duck right into the cover again. I'm going to walk up in here a little farther, see if I can't jump one or two up again. See if I can't knock one down this time. Uh, gun handle's real nice, but i got to handle it a little quicker. Uh, we'll see if I can't get one. Well, I chased them uh, up that canyon a ways. I could hear them running ahead of me, but I couldn't move quite fast enough to keep up with them. I never got another jump, but uh, that was fun. That was fun. I got uh, one cubby rise, small cubby, maybe half a dozen. Uh, pretty little birds. Got uh, two shots. If I was a little bit quicker, a little bit faster, I might have doubled off that cubby rise, but uh, I didn't. That's why they call it quail hunting and not quail shooting. So we'll uh, move on out a little further and uh, see if I can't find another cubby somewhere around in here. There's a lot of nice quail country in here. Um, seeing a lot of Mexican jays, some juncos. Uh, there was a hawk circling overhead for a while. Uh, let you have a look. Real pretty up here. I've been up in here a few times. First time I've been hunting, I think. A lot of deer in the area. Earlier this morning, I saw two does up on the hillside up above the canyon down down that away. If I'd had a rifle, if it had been deer season, I'd have had a doe down up in there, but uh, that's not what I'm after today. And that's okay. It's nice just seeing them. It's amazing that this is uh, about 60 miles away from downtown Los Angeles. Everywhere I go, I find something that amazes me. And this little spot is uh, one of those places. Okay, we'll head on down this canyon and see if we can't find another cubby. Another cubby, not more than uh, 50 yards from the first one. Uh, nice little brace of uh, mountain quail, pretty little birds. This was a bigger cubby. This was about uh, 10, 12 birds. The rest of them busted into cover. Uh, I was concentrating on these two that I shot at, and I didn't quite see where the rest of them went, but I think they're over in there. You can hear the alarm calls for the rest of the group. There's some over behind me, too. Uh, got two pretty birds here. We'll go see if we can't get a couple more. I got a good lunch right here. That uh, really made my day. Made the whole day worthwhile. And, uh, you know, I'm not done yet, so let's go see what else happens. Okay, well, I never did catch up with the rest of the cubby. They hit the ground and they ran. I ran after them a little ways, but uh, they got into some tough stuff. And uh, they're just too good at hiding. These uh, mountain quail, they flush, they flush low to the ground, they stay low to the ground. You're shooting into the weeds at them. But uh, got my two so far. 
I'm just real pleased with that uh, double off the cubby rise. If I wasn't a convert to this Vittori, I sure am now. Uh, I wouldn't have wanted to try and do that shooting with a big heavy pump gun. Um, a lot of fun, two pretty little birds, and there's more in the area. Uh, I think I'm going to walk back down the canyon towards where I park now. If I uh, bump another covey, that'll be great. If I don't, well, I got the bacons of a real good supper here. So we'll go see what else we can see down the canyon. That's uh, two pretty little mountain quail. Uh, they're a little bit bigger than uh, Bob White and the fish that I grew up with. Not as big as a pheasant, but uh, pretty little birds. Going to make a real nice supper. And I'm tired, and it's hot. I'm going to have a can of pop, and I'm going to head back down and find me some lunch. Uh, great day up here at the Taro Canyon. The Taro John Trailhead. I was uh, about two miles up in that canyon where I bumped this co covey that I doubled off of. Chased the rest of them around, they got into heavy country, I couldn't catch them. Just rough hunting without a dog, but boy is it fun. Had a great day. I'm going to have to come back and do it again.